folks going to do a short video real quick uh, I am chambering this barrel here that's what I got the barrel set up for but I got to an argument with a guy on YouTube not really an argument just a discussion I guess uh, he had a barrel set up in his lathe he was going to thread the muzzle for a uh, muzzle brake I guess or flash hide or whatever but he had an adjust a, a, just a true chuck and he got in an argument with me because he was using uh, basically an indicating rod and I'll give you an idea what that is this is a chamber reamer but just for an example it'd be a precision ground rod that you'd put in your muzzle in not the not the uh, chamber in here but he was indicating right here and then there and he was adjusting the chuck until he got it to a few tenths uh, now what we got to discussing I asked him why he didn't just turn the barrel in between centers and that would be uh, between the center and then have a center in the uh, spindle and he said I don't know I can't remember but the way he was doing it was proper but it just takes so much longer and uh, he said there's no way to do it in a four jaw uh, non-adjustable or well four jaw is adjustable but it's hard to explain but he said you couldn't make up for uh, uh, the flatness of the jaws but so we've got a trick for that if you see this wire in between here that allows the barrel to pivot in the jaw and what I do I come back here and I got the spider assembly that I made and it allows me to adjust the barrel out here so I put an indicating pin like this one here I put one in here as well I put an indicator on it and I put this indicator here and I get them both zeroed and then I know over the length of the barrel however many tenths usually tenths of a thousandth so if you split one thousandth of an inch into ten parts so however many of those is the total run out of the whole barrel so he was adjusting his and within about a three inch distance within two tenths so that means within that three inch distance he might be out two tenths but over the whole length of the barrel he might be out two thousandths which is quite a bit when you're trying to do precision so just an example here is I got this one indicated let's see it's within if I can hold this thing still let's see camera, crappy camera work but and you can't even really see the thing move so if you can see that we're literally probably about three tenths out and then I had precision ground rod on this end and I had it to probably about two or three tenths so I know the total run out of this whole barrel length is probably only half a thou uh, so there's definitely ways of doing things again some people don't know this trick some people do but uh, you just put this nice little uh, round wire in there basically that gives you a, a pivot point you can see where the jaws themselves aren't touching the the barrel but it's it's uh, clamped down on that wire so it can pivot around and we'll see here we'll turn this bad boy on see if you can see any no run out it's been perfect so just a little video and uh, who knows maybe that guy will see this and he'll probably give it a thumbs down because he's a hater <laughs> you never know till next time I'll see you guys